on salad dressing and mushrooms, on cottage cheese and salami. Grocery products have been breaking out in lines lately. They are lines of the future, marks to be read by a supermarket computer like the one that's been installed at a test store in Quebec. A cashier scanner reads the lines, they're called the Uniform Product Code, or UPC, and an in-store computer recognizes the product and tells the cash register how much to ring up. It's fast, so not as many checkout lanes are needed. That saves the store money. Some say the savings could be passed along to the consumer. But the stores have the option of saving even more money by eliminating the price mark on the product and eliminating the people who put the price on the product. That notion doesn't sit very well with store unions or with consumerists. Well, uh, your ability to make price comparisons and uh, to focus upon the price as a, a competitive feature of the industry would be slightly diminished by not having the price on the can. A shopper, the consumer advocates argue, might find it difficult to compare prices from one week to the next if the only records of price were on the shelf and on the cash register tape. And they wonder what will keep products from being accidentally placed in front of the wrong shelf price, something that could mislead a buyer about the cost. Some shoppers say computerized pricing requires too much faith. I think it would make shopping much harder for a lot of people with much, uh, they wouldn't be nearly as able to keep track of what uh, they were spending, I think. I love merchandising, but I don't trust it. I wouldn't know what I was paying for. I wouldn't know whether that price on that label was the price on the show. You wouldn't trust? No. Consumer groups are pushing for legislation to make sure prices stay on products. In some places, that kind of legislation has already been introduced. The big supermarket chains say the efficiencies are too great that computerized pricing is coming. It's only a question of when. The consumer advocates want to make sure there is control over how it comes into being. Jim Bitterman, CBC News.